protesters rallied in support of Montana's first transgender state lawmaker. As the Republican governor signed into law a bill restricting transition care for minors. My community is facing bills that get us killed. Democratic Representative Zoe Zephyr told her conservative colleagues this month that denying such care would be tantamount to torture and put blood on their hands. The Republican supermajority has barred Zephyr from the House floor for the rest of the legislative session for breaking decorum. I think what we're seeing is them utilizing decorum as a tool of oppression. When marginalized communities are rising up in defense uh, of their constituents, those in power are looking to silence them. It's not enough for them to get the bills passed. They want us to be quiet and we won't be. The bill bans transitional hormone treatments and surgeries for transgender people under 18. Major medical organizations support this care, with the Montana chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics saying the bill is based in false information. It's also been opposed by the governor's son, who identifies as non-binary, and described the bill as a moral, unjust, and frankly, a violation of human rights, according to the Montana Free Press. The American Civil Liberties Union and other groups have vowed to take legal action. Now, one anti-trans legislative tracker says this year alone, more than 500 bills have been introduced across the U.S., 50 of which have already passed. To put that into perspective, last year we saw 26 bills pass out of the 174 bills proposed. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.